So now we will see another important type of line code that is SDBN. Here SDBN stands for High Density Bipolar N. So there are certain disadvantage of AMI line code that is whenever long string of zero occurs then clock extraction is difficult because in AMI one is represent one is represented as a pulse either by this or by this alternating and zero is represented by zero volt so whenever a long string of zero come then transition that are not there in the transmitted sequence that is why clock extraction is difficult so to avoid this disadvantage we are using sdb3 wherein we replace long string of zero by a special sequence so that enough transitions are there in the transmitted line code so we'll see this by an example which is sdb3 so what happens here is in sdb3 whenever a long string of whenever three consecutive zero occurs and four bit is also zero that is whenever four consecutive zero occurs then this is to be replaced by a special sequence that is either triple zero v or b zero zero v now question arises when to use triple zero v and when to use b zero zero v the decision will be taken by a rule that we'll discuss now first of all initially whenever four zero comes then we can use either of these two number one number two then after if number of ones after using that special sequence if number of ones are even in nature then we will use b00 v and if after a special sequence after inserting special sequence if number of ones are odd in nature then we will use triple zero v sequence to explain it further now you may ask this why we are using this rule what is the benefit of this rule if we follow this rule then there is the advantage that num number of ones which comes in the the pulses which come in the positive side as well as the pulses which come in the negative side are same that is why dc component remains zero that is a part of favorable psd now we'll explain this with an example let us assume this is a sequence that we intend to transmit and this sequence has long strings of zero as can be seen here as can be seen here and as can be seen here to explain it further intentionally the number of zero have been kept as a group of four bits here group of four group of four group of four so that the case of sdb3 can be explained nicely now initially there is a group of four so this is to be replaced by a special sequence either this or this as we have previously explained either we can use this special sequence or this special sequence so in this case we have chosen a default a, a sequence that is triple zero v we can use b zero zero v also there is no specific rule for choosing for uh, first case of four bits now then after again here a group of four bit occur in that case what to use is triple zero v or b zero zero v will be decided by number of ones which are following number of ones which are following this special sequence now in this case one two three four since number of ones following this special sequence are even in nature that is why we will use 
Cassebitial sequence that is B zero zero V. Since number of ones following this special sequence is even for this particular case also, that is why we will use B zero zero V. And then after again we encounter a group of four bits, and number of ones following this special sequence are one, two, three, which is odd in number. That is why we are using zero 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 V. Now, when we convert this into electrical representation, then rule is same. That is AMI, except. Whenever V will come, then we have to violate AMI. Whenever B will come, we have to follow AMI. Rest of the rule will same will be same. That is, whenever one will come, we will use either this or this, either plus V or minus V. And for zero, we will use zero. And for V, we will violate AMI. And for B, we will follow AMI. So with this. So for one, it is plus v. For zero, it is zero. Then for another one, alternate that is minus v. For another one, it is plus v. And now zero 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 v. Here, v stands for violate. That is why it will not alternate. This pulse will not alternate as compared to the previous pulse. That is why both have same polarity. Similarly. In this case, B means it will follow the alternate rule, as can be seen here. V means it will violate the alternate rule, which can be seen here. There is no alternation, so it will keep doing till last. Now, question arises: What is the benefit? Benefit is that the disadvantage of AMI that was a long string of zero was there, which was causing a problem in synchronization because it doesn't have enough transitions. Is removed by inserting enough transitions. You can see there is a transition here. Here, this is replaced by transitions. This is replaced by transitions, and these zeros are replaced by transitions. So, clock recovery will be possible even if number of one number of zeros occur in the transmitted data. So this is the disadvantage. This is the biggest advantage of SDB3. A similar line code which exists is B and ZS. That is binary with n zero zero substitutions. This is similar to SDB3 except the change. The difference is that in this case, the type of spatial sequence that we are using is different. That is, for example, this is B eight Z S. That is binary with eight zero substitution. In this case, whenever eight continuous zeros come, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, then these eight zero, a group of eight zero, is to be replaced by a special sequence which is triple zero V B zero V B. So in this case, it is to be noted that V stands for violation again, the similar way, and B stands for bipolar. So V and B, V and B will cause equal number of pulses in the positive half and equal number of pulses below zero. So number of pulses above zero and number of pulses below zero will be equal. This will maintain. DC component or DC power to be zero, which is very required, very much required to maintain the favorable PST. So this is how B and Z is and SDB three works.